you couldn't swim before taking on this challenge? No, no, li literally couldn't swim a length. The, the first sort of trial that we had, we all got in a pool and we all had to sort of show a little bit of what we could do. And I thought it was kind of funny as none of us had ever swum. That was the whole point of it. And we got in, doggy paddled a little bit, sort of looked as if we were half drowning. <laughs> and then suddenly it's, well, you have 12 weeks now to get yourself ready to cross the channel. I mean, it's... It's madness, really. And 12 weeks isn't that long. No. I mean, I'm not a great swimmer, to be fair, and to swim anything like that. And, and, and how does it break down? Because there's, there's quite a few celebs, and it's yeah. almost a relay race, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, but literally none of us had swum. We're all having to learn a skill. We're having to condense the, the ability of that skill into such a short amount of time then you have to add the volume on top. It's genuinely very, very difficult. Yeah, it's the pressure, isn't it? And yeah. open water is just gruelling. So yeah. that in itself, it's, it'll be one of the most physical things I think a lot of you guys will have probably ever attempted. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have been in the sea a few times over the weekends. We sort of get together most weekends for sort of a camp, if you like, and then we go and try different parts. We've been to, been to Windermere, Buell Water. We've been down to uh, Burr Island, which was quite impressive it's to getting see Getting the well. practice in as so best You're getting there as much as you can, yeah. And, I mean, we've had sort of waves crashing on us or the wake of boats behind us. Everything that can possibly thrown us, be thrown at us has been so far. And it's a massive, massive eye-opener. Mm. It's going to be an incredibly difficult task. But the group's coming together really, really nicely. And, and doing this, obviously, for Stand Up to Cancer, yes, which absolutely. is a, a, a hugely important cause and one that's very close to your heart as well. Yeah, big time. Yeah, I, I got involved with Stand Up to Cancer as, as soon as I could, really. I, I lost my granddad um, just before my first Olympics back in 2008, and it was a really, really difficult time. It, it affected me more than I think anything's ever affected me in my life. So from my point of view, I was always really, really keen to do what I could uh, to support something like Stand Up to Cancer because it's a horrendous, horrendous disease. Uh, and anything that we can do and use whatever small profile we have to, to promote getting rid of it, yeah. I think that's a really important thing. No, of course. Uh, and actually to be able to now swim alongside your little boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because that... they're, well, Milo's five now, isn't uh, just, he? He turns five shortly. Just turning months, five. Yeah, so yeah. he's swimming away and Daddy couldn't swim with him. No, exactly. <laughs> I was going to his swimming lessons and I was sort of sitting on the side and he'd be like, come on, Daddy, get in. I'd, um, <laughs> I'll all just right. sit and here. there'd be me on the side going, really well done, mate. Um, now, though, I can swim, which, which, is, which is brilliant. They've actually all just been down on the south coast and I've been getting sent videos of Milo putting his face in the water. That's the one thing he was afraid of. But it actually seems since I've been doing this, he's quite keen to then get involved himself, which is brilliant, right? Yeah. Really push it. Are you enjoying the fitness side of it again? Because this is yeah. what you do, obviously. I mean, yeah. we know you for being fitness. I know you put <laughs> pictures up and talk about dad bods and all sorts of things on Instagram. I don't quite know what you mean when you say that, to be well, honest. That, that came from... Well, do you know what? I think we, all, we often talk about like body shaming and everything else. And, and it was probably the first time I'd experienced people sending me sort of relatively harsh direct messages on, on, on Instagram about having a dad bod. And I hadn't really thought... Look, I retired a year ago. I, I fully accept that I'm not going to be the athlete I was then and as physically fit. Um, but I didn't expect, while doing something for Stand Up to Cancer, that that was something that, that people picked up on. Um, so a lot I of saw, opinion out there. there, isn't there? Yeah, um, there is, yeah, good and bad. I mean, it, it's, it's a mixed bunch out there. But th that was something that I found a little bit shocking. Mm. Um, but again, like people are each their own they can have their opinions if they wish no of course of course <laughs> well look you're clearly used to being under pressure for all sorts of things whether it be the olympics or anything else but you're getting back into the kitchen in september yeah master chef are you mad <laughs> oh my goodness talk about I think, stress i think people are going to be very bored of seeing my face in, in september to be totally <laughs> honest um yeah another truly terrifying thing getting in that kitchen is yeah, is, you did bake off for sport relief, so I you've did, been yes, you're, yeah. you're sort of used to the kitchen environment, but yeah. that you know to well, be told it, you're good or bad. If that's to go anything by though, I went into that process going, well, I bake, so I'm going to be fine at this, and I was terrible. <laughs> um, so on this one, I cooked a bit as an athlete, more for fuel than anything else. It's very plain, bland foods. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll see what happens What there. happens, yeah. <laughs> and I've got to ask you very quickly, but strictly, it was the big launch yesterday. Oh, do you still get asked, do you still dance, Greg? Uh, uh, <laughs> more than you would believe. Uh, one of the most awkward moments so far of my life has come from Strictly, where an old lady grabbed me on a flight back from, from Spain and tried to waltz up the aisle <laughs> of the plane in front of it. I was just trying to go to the toilet. <laughs> and it was, it was a really awkward moment. So everybody still... I think more people ask about Strictly than they do my athletics career, a, which I think that says quite a lot, doesn't it? It says a great um, but deal, it, it's gonna it? be it's going to be fantastic to see again. And it, it, that excitement, at this point, all the guys are going to be feeling yeah. a lot of excitement. We need a bit of sparkle this time yeah, of the year, don't well. we? Absolutely. Well, sink or swim, like we say, it's it's all for stand-up to cancer. 9.30pm, Channel 4, best of luck with it, Thank Greg. you very much.